Hello and welcome to yet another heads up. Uh, it's pretty early still, so if you hear me yawn, I had to get up early. Um, please excuse me for that. <laughs> it does happen sometimes. Uh, did went to play poker as well yesterday evening. Uh, after the wall climbing, won about f 140 euros, I think 44, 50, something like that. He gets a flying, can block only creatures with flying, that's fine. Uh, we're on the draw, so we'll make it to a drop. Um, so yeah, the, the remainder went to the host, so the 450 went to the host, and I won a 40, basically. Uh, he makes a 3 drop on the play, that's fine by me as well. He gets a 1-4 Vigilance, which is pretty good against a 3-1 attacker, uh, and I can't block it at this point. Even though... Um, Making a 3 drop is probably better, um, I only take 3 a turn, so I'll make it to a drop here. Hope to get a mana accelerator and win from there. I get put a spore counter, get a sprawling and then we can use it to, wow, that was weird. Uh, and then we can make sprawlings, but that's going to be really slow, and for some other reason, um, I don't know if you can see this, but this is really odd. Uh, it's the very first time this happened to me. I don't have anything heavy running at this moment. So I have no clue what causes this. Uh, he skips his 4 drop. Okay then. If you really want to. I got a 3 1 haste. Pretty junk against 1 4 vigilance. Uh, but now you can double black, I guess, and kill it. He can only kill once, so probably three dash and go for the Yotun soldier here to negate one damage uh, and get it off the board so that I can start attacking. Hmm, <laughs> a 3 3 flyer that becomes a 4 4, then a 5 5. Um, what? No. Oh. And this is every time. So I'm basically on a heavy clock here, I need to hit a flyer. Because else this is gonna overrun me. I need a big flyer, I need like a Sarah Angel to block it. Get a 3 3 Blutters flyer. Um, it's not really good. Hello. I have only a half an hour now, but we can probably do a PvP in PvP at school. Okay, so someone just came online with Intruder. Uh, so you can block this, but I mean, this is gonna get out of control. Uh, it doesn't have lifelink, even though it's a vampire. Uh, we still can't attack with this because he has a 1 4. So, yeah. Uh, still in the back foot. At least we'll only be taking 3. We have some turns to get out of this. I uh, mean, a 6 drop would probably be great. Uh, and he gets another. <laughs> he gets another flyer. Wow. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be GG, I guess. I mean, I can't can't deal with this amount of flyers uh, this quick. Um, target creature gets minus one, minus one until the end of turn. Um, I mean, it's pretty fine, but it's a bit too late now uh, because this is just three three. And this will become a five five, so I have to hit something here. I get a frost item. Um, that's pretty good, so we can tap this down. Uh, but this is still going to be an issue, right? It's a two-turn clock. Yep. And it keeps growing and growing and growing. And he gets... Uh hmm? What does that mean? He can basically uh, do the damage through to me, I guess. That's what it means. Uh, I think it's a pretty weird wording. Can deal this combat damage to me, so basically I can't attack either because. Um, God damn it! Um, I guess this poses a problem. Yeah. Wow, what is flipping out here? I'm gonna close some things, but I mean. This is annoying. Um, so yeah, how to deal with this? Uh, I can block this with uh, the Sepralling and then sacrifice it. 
which is probably the way to deal with it. So I get a creature from him, um, so I can take the butcher or attack with it, then kill this, keep this step down with the put with this one. Uh, so that's basically um, a way to do this for now, and it's also a six or haste itself. So we attack with these, uh, and then we keep this step down, and we kill this, I guess. And this. Uh, we'll still have to deal with the Butcher Ogre though. So we might just see what it does. Um, it blocks the Frost Titan, obviously. Could have also killed Ruse, and then it deals 4 to each creature without flying, so that's not really a good one. Um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna kill this because it's gonna be a big issue. Uh, he goes down to 13, he can attack with this, uh, I, I would have killed this then, um, that was dumb, had to kill this. Uh, so we can block with the sprawling and then kill it, uh, so that's what we'll do. Um, so yeah, we'll activate this ability, target this, sacrifice this. And now that's lethal, right? Um, Frost Titan basically taps down whatever he gets. That's 6, 12, 15. Yeah, that's lethal. Unless, of course, he gets something really good. And he does. Um, yeah, but uh, what can I say about that? I mean, I had lethal. I got lucky, of course, with the other one, but then he gets a 5-5. Five five. There's nothing I can do about stuff like that, right? I get a 6-6 six, six flying. Uh, which is better than his 5-5. Five, five, so now he has to find an out. Uh, of course, it's only a 3 turn clock. While I had lethal previously. Um, and now he has an 8-4 trampler. Um, yeah. Come on, hoverguard sweepers, I guess. Or something insane. Instead, we get a 6-6. Six, six uh, the treats with this, but we can't attack because um, he has really good creatures. Oh wow, why, why did it have to be Cataract the Leviathan? I mean, anything else it can beat. He can't get rid of the first strike, and he gets another Trampler. <sighs> and he does attack with it though, uh, I mean, I don't think that's the right attack. I basically can do this, he can only kill one of them. He probably kills the Flyer of course, but I take no damage, and then next turn I think it's a decent creature. Uh, we should still be fine. Uh, we probably won't be, but uh, because it's an 8-8. Eight, eight. Well, I, I hope I get something decent. I get a 6-6. Six, six. Um, so we block, block. We yeah. I think that's the only way we go down to two. Deep spawn gains. Shroud. Okay. He gets a flyer, of course. Why not? <laughs> that can regenerate. Oh my god, man. This guy. Um, I mean, it's not this guy, it's just the randomness of this game, but I mean, I had lethal. Um, I think I played it correctly, I just got a bit unlucky there. Uh, obviously, we'll do it like this because the Overseer is a bit better than this. Uh, but we go down to two, we need something really good here. Uh, now this becomes an 8-8, eight eight, so it can trade there, but we need a 5-5 five five flyer now. And we instead we get an 8-8 eight eight, uh, Annihilator too, so we'll concede here because we do not have an auto. His runner, 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 goodies! <laughs> uh, in poker terms, of course we would like to play first. No, we do not want a mulligan. Wow, get direct Leviathan. I mean, anything else I can beat, I guess, um, or most of it, uh, just because first type Titan taps it down. Target creature you get plus X plus O until end of turn, where X is the number of more folks and fairies you control. 
that's fine. Uh, basically, it gives a creature plus one plus zero. I won't be making a three drop here unless, of course, he gets an C card. But uh, that's not one of them, though. So yeah, uh, skip the three drop. He skipped his four drop over his three drop and made a three drop on the play, which I find out. Um, obviously, to each your own tactic. And he did win, um, not by making that play though, but <laughs> <laughs> I did get a flyer there, uh, 3 then. And here he gets a 2-3 reach, so that's just nothing. He can attack here, uh, I'm not willing to trade yet. I mean, this gives um, any other creature more ability to trade later on in the game. I think the ability will scale into the late game a bit. Uh, here we get a 3-3 three, three flyer, which outscales anything, and then now... Um, if he ever gets a fourth toughness creature, we can basically use this to trade with it, right? That's why you do stuff like that. And he gets a 4 3. Oh, like that. It's an 0 3 that uh, loses counters and he has to invest mana to pump it up, uh, which is something most people will never do. And I get a 3-3 three, three, uh, protection from red creature that deals damage, one damage to everything else, uh, including my own creatures. So that would kill that, so obviously I'm not going to use it yet. Uh, I'll, I'll probably take the trade here if he attacks. Um, I might block here, but I doubt it. I mean, it deals 4 and then becomes a 3-3 three, three and then becomes 2-3. Uh, which I can then block. Uh, now it gets a 3-3 three, three flying, um, so it I can't attack with the Kitkin. Uh, I mean, I can attack with the Kitkin, but it's not something I'm gonna do now, uh, unless, of course, I get a good card. Uh, we'll see what a 6 drop is, uh, and then I can attack. I mean, if it's a great flyer, he can't force. Yeah, that's, that's useless. Uh, it's just a 3-3. Three, three. I mean, I'm willing to trade with the Clockwork Steed here now with my 3-3. Three three. I think this has more value than this. Uh, mainly because of the protection from red, the one damage to anything else. He gets a 5-5 five five white green. That's fine. Uh, he doesn't do anything. I will make a 7 drop and hope we get something. Uh, we'll discard the planes. We get a 5-5 five five island walk. That's a C card. By the way, it has Island Walk, so you can block it, and it basically removes a creature uh, from the game every time it attacks. Um, so a 5 5 Cycler. Um, I'm great on defense here. We'll just be taking away some 5 5s. Uh, he attacks here, so we'll just block with two 3 trees. And it's basically a 1 for 1 trade, so I traded 3 3 for 5 5. I mean, I'm not dissatisfied with that, especially seeing as I can eat um, his other 5-5 five five now. He obviously killed the wall, uh, the wall is really good. And we get a Verdant Force, which is insane. Uh, so we can eat that. Of course I want to use the ability, uh, because they're tokens they disappear forever. And now we just get a token every turn. Token, 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 token. Uh, I can also pump the tokens, but I don't think that's <laughs> going to be something I want. Uh, so that's just a 3 8 forest walk. Um, obviously, I can eat it with the Colossal Great Whale if I want to. Uh, I think I will. Um, so we'll attack here. We'll eat this. And then it's lethal next turn with the flyer for now. Um, okay, declare blocker step main phase. I'm also a level 1 judge, by the way. Um, yeah, I should have done that before. <laughs> because that would have been lethal. I uh, could have attacked with all the flyers. Eight, eight, uh, oh no, because he has reach. Um, it, doesn't, it wouldn't have mattered. I mean, obviously, I would have attacked with this as well. Um, but yeah. I don't know. You should see the writing on the wall here, right? I attack with 
these he can only block one and it's GG uh, so this has flying, this has flying, this has flying we eat his flyer uh, yes and that's lethal he can only block one of these uh, it doesn't matter which one he blocks uh, so 1-1 one, one after the last match uh, we did get some sick cards there, I mean Colossal Whale is pretty much the same as the first titan uh, but actually better <laughs> um, so yeah, still haven't got a single mana XL rating in all these videos I've recorded obviously it's not that many yet but hey, it's gotta happen one day, right? Uh, let's see if he makes it to a drop yet again he does, and it is a 2-2 two -two white blue uh, island walk, so you gotta be careful about making the island walks um, or dropping the islands in play. Obviously, I'll play an island if I get the nuts, but uh, I don't. Dream Trash is really great in combo with this. Uh, this used to be a really good card, by the way, in um, constructed Merfolk. Wow. That's pretty good in more <laughs> I mean, the amount of tokens that's gonna leave the player is pretty big. Um, so here I have a decision, make another 2 drop or get there with a 3 drop. I think only taking 2 each turn, obviously he's not gonna attack with that. Um, isn't a big deal. So we get a 2-2 two -two protection from Black Bushido, which does... Um, we just block this. So because of Bushido it gets minus one, minus one, right? Blocks or becomes block, yeah. Um so this becomes a one one and even if he gives it protection afterwards, uh we can just still block. This is a really good card. Um it stops multi blocking, uh stuff like that. And now he gets a three three flyer. Yeah. Uh so here I'm again having to find flyers against this guy. Not the very first time. Instead, I get Master of the Wild Hunt, um, which is pretty nuts card as well. Uh, it's basically removal. Uh, next turn, I get a 2 2 token, and then turn after I get. Um, can remove this with this. Uh, it deals damage to the wolves itself, so it has to find an out of, uh, for this before it takes over the board. Obviously, next turn, I can kill Twilight Drover first, uh, then kill the Kirin afterwards. Uh, yeah, it's a nuts card in general. Uh, it was constructed played as well. And just hope he doesn't get an out and he gets a Shriekma. Oh my god. Not only does it kill it, it also has fear and will hit me for another tree. Um, <laughs> I mean, you can beat this, right? Uh, some luck like this. Uh, first, you got a Cataract Leviathan to get out of his here. Now, I, when I about to gain control. Um, red or green, uh, that doesn't even do anything for me here. Obviously, I can double block this, but then this becomes a 5 5. And then he gets a Shriek Ma to get rid of the Master of the Wild Hunt. He makes a 3 drop? Why 3 drop? Why would you make a 3 drop here? I mean, 6 is fine, right? Um, obviously, we double block here because we want to stop the bleeding a bit. Um, yeah, obviously this will become big, but there's no way we have an out here. Just a sec, I have a phone call. Sorry for keeping you in suspense, um, had to get that. So we're up against a 5-5 five five here, he also has a fear, so we basically want a 6-6 six six black. Uh, instead we get this guy. Um, 
so we can devour this uh, it then becomes a 6-6 six, six, so but this also becomes a 6-6 six, six, so we'll be taking 6 then or we can block here obviously if it attacks we block it becomes a 7-7 seven, seven. Uh, but I think we have to devour at this point uh, okay uh, devour please oh wait uh, god damn it that's not how it work, uh, works I guess um, so it does make the flyers here so it didn't uh, we failed to devour um, it's only one counter wow yeah that's pretty much GG right uh, that's why he also made the other one I have no clue how to get out of this uh, I mean I take oh just two in the air but then it becomes four next turn yeah I think not devouring there then was fine if that was planned I should have figured it out before um that's pretty good uh, basically it negates all this <laughs> It's in general though, but um, at this point every single 1-1 one one is useless and he keeps pumping them out and he also only has 7 drops no he has 8 drops if he wants to um, so yeah, he doesn't actually make it, no he can't make 8 drops, he doesn't have land for it that's fine, um, so we skipped a drop turn for me to allow me to make a drops um, we gain 3 life uh, but it's also a flyer of course and yeah I think if he quad blocks no we can assign damage the way we want to of course um, he keeps doing this though but of course this is gonna grow huge uh, if you just keep sacrificing tokens so I have to get rid of this first uh, before I can do anything and now he's making 9 drops uh, which is pretty odd I have no clue what his plan is here uh, we get a 5-6 flyer um, I think we have to start attacking nope not yet um, we we'll start attacking next turn I mean the tokens are useless but if he blocks blocks of course they die and this gets counters um, so it's a zero, zero, 0 value so we actually need 3 flyers um, yeah this is probably pretty good against this uh, I have no clue why he keeps making his land traps though I mean yeah he can get something protection um, He just attacks with the two to vigilance. Obviously, we block here. Um, he dies. He gains more counters. Doesn't matter, man. It, ah. Okay, so I made the same mistake. Hit it. Um, I'm so <laughs> used to clicking on lands. Uh, actually, drop my lands. Uh, but making nine drops is probably safer than eight drops because it's less likely to screw myself over. Um, so yeah, it obviously was a mistake on my end. Um, let's just refrain from doing that let's put this here <laughs> no I mean uh, we'll see what he does here I don't think that's a good play by him um, what he, I mean obviously I'll block block uh, why can't I block there oh it has island walk as well so um, the island here that I played basically screws me over that's pretty sick um, yeah that's pretty sick so we get a 5-5 five five trample uh, that gains me life, uh, that draws me cards so then I can make 10 drops <sighs> God, it's just sick. No Galtan trick card there.
my apologies yet again uh, of course this is really annoying for you guys which I do understand um, I think I have to wait some more uh, dropping that island is gonna cost me with this there uh, obviously the tokens still don't matter it just bugs down the board um, as soon as I get rid of this I can start clearing them uh, but now this is gonna put a clock on me and he can give it protection so making that land drop will cost me the game uh, because of it being an island obviously we can drag cars he, he just keeps making land drops for some other reason uh, let's see if he figured it out that it actually has island walk and that the reason was that it didn't block it uh, yeah it is so. So what do we do here? Do we pay two life um, to make ten drops? I think we do. Um, the chances of Progentis is just too good. Oh, it's instead of drawing a card. Oh my God! It's actually I thought it drew a card. Wow, that's trash. So I basically, cost myself a turn there. Um, so yeah, yeah sure, whatever, uh, I have nothing, but it's just a 9-9 defender that does nothing. Uh, so here I will start attacking a bit, I mean it doesn't matter at this point, he just block blocks. Uh, Bushido will trigger, uh, he can't kill this. I only take one each turn by this, so I actually have. Oh, so that's why he drops mountains of course. Yeah, that's fine. Um. Boop. He gets a counter. He creates tokens. Basically, need something really good um, to get out of this, to kill this, and then this. He starts making 12 drops here. So, at Twilight Rover and Seek, the 2 and his 3 drop are gonna kill me. Dice, you may exile it. Oh, so it's just an 8-8. Eight eight. That's useless at this point because of the gross odds. Uh, but obviously I only have 9 turns to find something. No. Um, not anymore. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so let's hope I do get here something. Uh, so that's another useless card. It does have Trample though, uh, but I mean with the 5-5 five five being there, uh, it's not good. Obviously this has Trample as well, should have attacked with it last turn. But then this becomes bigger just because he blocks it with a bunch of tokens. Uh, the bringers are really bad except the blue one. And now we get an 11-11 eleven, eleven, uh, Annihilator. Um, yeah. This isn't looking good, is it? So here we trigger both of them. No. So at nine the bringers um, actually don't seem to be that good. The blue one probably is. Uh, so here we give a seven seven annihilator. Uh, we obviously can attack with that, but even then he just sacrifices the token right. He has plenty of those, and he can keep getting plenty of those. Uh, this is legendary, so if he gets that, but they both die. But he obviously gets Blight Steel Colossus instead. No problem. Um, he does attack with the 11 11 Annihilator too, uh, so he just sacrificed the most useless cards to us. Which is probably this one and this one. Uh, yeah, he gains more counters. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, seeing as it's an 11 level, I have to do 12 damage to it on 13 if I block with multiple. So let's block like this, and then he gets the kills. The bringer of the dawn doesn't matter. This deals 4, this deals 8, which is enough. Um, actually, it isn't because it says half. It's not minus 1, it says half. So actually, Kills nothing. 
Wow, I'm dumb. Um, I'm costing myself this game just by making mistake after mistake, but I mean, I am getting distracted at every turn. And I keep getting junk. Um, I mean, you can't help but <laughs> feel sorry for me at this point. I had to nuts with the Master of Wild Hunt. He got the instant removal for it, else this wouldn't be here, and all the tokens wouldn't be here either. Um, and yeah, then the other game, and now he gets two Blightsteel Colossuses, Colossi. Um, basically, I can take one hit from this because it doesn't do anything. Um, so you have to sacrifice two permanents, which will be these two. Uh, basically, it's my two flyers, though. But these flyers at this point do nothing. I can take one hit from it, seeing as it does half damage. Uh, and then I have to calculate this here. So this does four. So cancel. Yeah. Okay. This does four. This does two. This does three. So that's ten. Then this does an insane amount. Uh, we can't block with that. So this does two, six, eight, eleven. So that should be enough. And now he does kill the bringer, uh, which he could have killed last turn. Yeah, and then he obviously gets an eight eight there. Um. So yeah, the infects. Uh, does something, but it's this worse. So we just get a 6 7 flyer, and we're up against an insane army here. We'll just see if he can survive this or what he gets, but this isn't looking like a win. Um, this just bugged the board time while he was able to make insane stuff. Uh, <laughs> and he even gets <laughs> another Enamus one. Wow. Uh, so obviously we have to block those two. Um, like this, I guess. I mean, doesn't matter. Uh, neither of these die. They just get a bunch of infect counters on them. What are we looking for, though? I mean, we probably want an eight drop. We want Cataract, the Leviathan, uh, because basically then we have the board control. He obviously makes twelve twelves, but. There's no other routes, is there? Um, so yeah, I think we will make an 8-drop here. Uh, I'm not that experienced with 9-drops. Uh, that would have been great previously. I mean, we could have tapped down a lot of them. Uh, but we'll just consider. Um, obviously, I lost this myself. Ob uh, he got lucky at some points, but I mean, that's Momi, right? That's why I played, because it's fun like that. <laughs> a lot of swings. Uh, but I just made a lot of misplays. I get distracted here and there, everywhere. Um, pretty annoying. So, see you around.